at the NIHR Biomedical Research Centre, we are committed to fostering a culture of research at the very earliest stages of medical training. We host the INSPIRE programme, a programme of training opportunities designed by medical and dental graduates for medical and dental graduates. Joining me today are Tarani Ratnaswaram and Nalima Begum, both INSPIRE programme awardees. Tarani, you're what year in medical school? I've just completed my final year. Very good. And you applied for this INSPIRE award last year. What were your plans at that point? I was going on elective to um, the uh, Functional Neurosurgery Laboratory at um, Columbia Medical Center in, um, New York. in New York. That's right. And what was the project that you chose to work on there? Okay. Um, so this project basically were using electrodes implanted deep within the brain to um, measure electrical activity um, from parts of the brain that we haven't been able to study before. Um, so patients would be asked to do a task, um, a behavioural task, and then we could measure um, electrical activity from neurons um, and populations of neurons to see um, which areas were firing and how they were firing to sort of understand a bit about human cognition and um, how we make decisions. And these patients had what condition? So these are patients with epilepsy who are undergoing surgery for epilepsy and beforehand we used this technique to um, sort of find out where the uh, seizures are coming from and how they're um, propagating. And what was your role in this research project? So I was coordinating a um, manuscript for a video journal to uh, document how you can use um, these techniques to investigate the brain. I got to work with uh, all the different parts of the team, so the neurosurgeon, the neurophysiologists, and um, also uh, I got to go and learn how to actually run the behavioural tasks with the patient. So you were in New York for how long in all? Uh, ten and a half weeks. So it was a good, good experience to sort of labor laboratory approaches and clinical research programmes. Absolutely. Very good. Now, Lene, what, uh, what year are you in at medical school? I've also just finished. You've just finished. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. And you uh, decided to stay at King's College London uh, and you were awarded a summer studentship. Tell me about that project. So I was based at um, a guy's hospital um, in the St. John's Institute of Dermatology. And what was the project specifically looking at? So we were investigating into uh, looking for mutations that were driving a um, particular type of skin cancer called cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. And I understand that the group that you were working with are sort of international leaders in this field, so it must have been a very stimulating environment. Tell me about the techniques that you learnt in the lab. Definitely. Um, the techniques that I used were primarily something called PCR. So what we do is we process the DNA from patients who have this cutaneous T-cell lymphoma and then what we do is we um, code the DNA bases and then we compare it to the database that exists which is called the Human Genome Project and by doing that we can identify mutations and then investigate that further to see whether or not these mutations had a role in the disease progression. And the idea is to try and catalogue all the different mutations you see in, in different patients. What's, what were the sort of conclusions you came to with your project? Um, so this project has been going on for about 10 years um, and by the end of this project we were able to identify and sort through, um, through hundreds of mutations to um, about 20 very important mutations that could potentially be driving this um, cancer. And presumably the goal longer term would be to use this both as perhaps a diagnostic tool and perhaps for for treatment, is that is that the idea? In Absolutely, the yeah. So first of all, we'd be using it to see how patients might respond to medication, and also by finding out the mutations and how it impacts the body, we can actually create pharmaceutical interventions to hopefully try and regress or slow down the way in which that this disease um, progresses. Now you've qualified, what sort of impact will this research experience have do you think on your future career? 
So prior to applying for this um, uh, scholarship, I was very interested in pursuing a career in dermatology. Now dermatology is a very sort of competitive area of medicine to get into. So being able to get the support from the Inspire program has completely given me a platform to pursue this sort of uh, aspiration that I have. Tarini, Nalima, thank you very much for telling us about your Inspire program studentships. Thank you. So you can see that Tarini and Nalema's experiences are just two good examples of providing a research culture very early on in the stage of their medical training. It's great for their CVs, but I think a great opportunity for others to take up these research training opportunities very early on in their undergraduate medical training careers.